Hello everyone. This is the second video of my two video series. In my first video, I will explain how we can make progress curve based on the project cost or BOQ cost, both early and late values. I will put the link in the description. If you want to see, you can see it there. And here in this video, we will see how we can make progress curve based on efforts or labor assigned for the project, both early and late values. So as we see before in my previous video, this is the program we considered and this program is already cost and resource loaded. So total resources are assigned more than 484,000. So let's start our task for this. Let's start making the progress curve using report step. So we are going to tab now. This is our resource. This is our tab, tab for the uh, reports and this is the built-in reports already in the primera. So we put any in the resource tab and go edit and put and select add. When you select add, create or modify reports dialog box came with new reports selected. So we just select next. In here, select subject area. You have to select so many areas, but our resources are distributed over the time. So we check checkbox, we click the checkbox time distribution data. When you click the time distribution data, data here, the, for us, we can use project expenses and resources. Here we assign resources. So we select resources and we select next. When you select next, you will find that configure selected subject area. You have to configure column, group and filters here. So let's go for column first. When you select the columns, it will give you the list of columns shown in your report. So in your reports, to minimize the congestion in the report, you can remove the unnecessary columns from the report. Like for example, default units per time is not necessary. You can remove primary rows is also necess not necessary for us. We can remove it. Unit or measurements may be days or hours. It's also we already known, so not need, just we remove it. Resource type, already we are know that we are making it for the labor, so it's a labor resources. So no need to show this labor type here. We just remove this also and then just click apply and OK. Then you go to group and sort. When you select group and sort, you will find that group and sort open. Then you can select here and you just press letter R. It will show you resource and so you can select resource. If you select resource, it will show you all the resources assigned for the project. For example, it will show you how many masons are there, how many carpenter or any resource you assign. It will show you the how many particular resources are required for the time, for particular time. But here we just want to make a progress curve as an overall progress curve. So here is better we select the resource type. In the resource type, it will show you all the resource, labor resources, how many material resources, what is the quantity or unit and what is the known labor units quantity or units are there. So we just select the resource type and then just click from here, show grant totals, show grant summary and just click apply and OK. Now the next is filter. It's the most important filter you, you, you can consider it here because it will define the resources you are going to show in your report. So here I just select here from the open this one. I select resource resource under when you select the values, it will show open the resource dictionary. So from the resource dictionary, you will select your resource. So your resource hierarchy. So I just uh, uh, close this one and then our project is Rose Garden Hills. So I just select my project and all the resources are under resource Rose Garden Hills and the name is our main project is Rose Garden Hills, so it will. I just select our main heading and click OK. Then I add here and I go into resource type equal to labor. Okay, and then from here you can select any, you can make it all. So we, it means that we are going to take the resources for this rose garden and resource type labor. Then click apply and OK, and then we go next when you go next here it will show you date option that date, date option in the time scale either here in the option you are so you're going to select when time scale should be start is time scale is the earliest project start is enough for us you have other option you can select it it's very uh, user friendly you can from, from the name you can understand what does it stand for so i'm not going that detail just i select project earliest project start and then the date interval it's either month 
week or day i prefer to use as day for because from days we can extract the weekly and monthly data easily and i will show you why and i already explained this in my previous video i here i will show also and then we have this time format calendar and this all necessary not necessary here to modify here just keep the same and then go time interval if you go time if you if you go time interval here you have see that you have remaining early units so just go time interval and go units and then we select early late units so if you see here early late units already we have early uh, uh, many early units are here and late units are so we just take it here in the report and now it is okay now we have remaining early units and remaining late units then click okay then go next now this is our report name file name so i just make one two three four it's not necessary i just keep it for my easy reference to identify the file easily then i go next and then here you can uncheck this box format number format number put the one values in several cells so it's not recommended so just uncheck this one and then run the report when you click the run report option the run report data box came out and it gives you several options to the you can see the report print preview direct to print direct to printer so i will going to select delimited text file i just select this one and it will give you the location and i am keeping the same you can change it if you want and then just keep okay and because already i have the same file so i just override the previous file and then proceed our project date is see as uh, 1st july friday and we have remaining early remaining late and this total remaining early total remaining late for the labor units the work for we generated from the primera it show you the remaining early and late units we just copy this values early and late and then just copy this to our excel file Okay, and here you just change to labor just early labor units and late labor units, and then just type the date here. Our project start date is uh, July first. Okay, and then you give the copy the data to Oku and up to last cell. Just select the first value and then press Shift Control, right arrow. It will take you the up to the end of the data. You can see I just type here one. so that i can just use the formula control shift left arrow so it will take you up to the end of this data my data up to first so i just go here and bring the first and i type the formula date where year is equals to from the previous month is taken from the previous and day is taken from the previous plus 1 and then just press control enter it will copy the formula to all values okay and then you select all the dates again and then press control one it will show you a dialog box for the date format just select custom and just press three times d it will show you the day then type tip double d for day and then i just want this dash for the and then put the alignment you can select the alignment top and then make it like this see now your data is friday 1st july 2022 this is late unit percentage just to double click here then this our this early and late complete percentage of uh, late value will become as from the daily values okay just came at the end of the data and just press this our early cumulative this late cumulative this early percentage and late percentage press 1 and control 1 it will copy that one up to the last then press control left arrow it will give you your data up to the end now just select early, early cumulative labor units and late cumulative labor units press shift control right arrow it will there it will select the data up to the end of the values where we type one that's why we type it here so it is easy for you to select the data up to the end of the value just pressing control shift left arrow now we know the cumulative values is the previous value plus this interval value so we select this formula and then press control enter it will copy the same formula to all values you know you can see from here you can see our project finish on 31st december and our cumulative early values is late values and early values is 4000 and 4000 484406 and both are same now and if you see the location is gd8 the cell reference is gd8 so now 
I just tell you why you just just keep the in your mind that our last value value is GD8, which show you the cumulative value of the labor units in the project. So we just go control shift and right arrow. Now you come to percentage. Okay, just select the only percentage and late percentage. Press shift control right arrow where it will select the data up to the end of the values that's why i type it here one so it is easy for you to select the well uh, the required cell no need to scroll and now you come here and you just type the formula here is equals to early value divided by gd8 which is our final value and then just press f4 to log this cell value and then press here round round up to five digits then press control enter it will copy the same formula into all values see all gd8 gd8 now you just select again shift control up to the right it will take your data up to the right of the values you can see here then you just select percentage from the top here and then just make up to two decimal okay so you can see early and late percentages here and why I am taking you this percentage because in Primavera when you are computing the plan or weekly percentage percentage based on week, week on month it will give you the values at the end of the week or at the end of the month. So in the, in the Primavera normally our week is started from Monday and finish on Saturday. So if you are, if you are making the progress curve based on the, this week weeks from the Primavera the values coming at the end of Saturday or Sunday, normally Saturday, and Sunday is considered as off or holiday. So in this case, when and if your progress meeting happening on every every Tuesday or Wednesday, and you are updating the project, or I suppose your progress meeting every Wednesday, and you are updating the program program or every Tuesday, this percentage came on the schedule percentage came on Tuesday will not match the day uh, data shown on your progress curve because the progress curve shown the data up to the end of Saturday or Sunday as per the uh, you define in Primera in setting what when the week start when the week finish. So in this case your percentage is shown in the progress curve is not matching with the in the program. So that's why I prefer to make on the daily basis this one and from here you extract the data and make weekly and monthly so that when you update the program the plan percentage coincide the one you show in the uh, in the progress curve so i hope you understand this uh, concept because for my experience and i find that uh, some engineers they are not uh, fully aware how to make they can make early curve but they are uh, not aware to make late curves also and normally it is recommended by client and consultant to both provide early and late values so in this case, in these two videos, uh, my previous video and this video, you can see how can we make the progress curve based on the early, uh, based on early and late values for project or BOK cost and resources. I hope this you like this my efforts and it is helpful for you and useful for you and it will help you to improve your productivity and your understanding about the program and about the Primera and I will planning to make some more videos interesting and informative for you. Uh, just give just keep like sharing my videos and subscribe my channel. It will be a great support from your side. I I will appreciate your support and see you in the next video. Thank you very much.